Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I'm having a good time with a photo that I took in Bratislava, Slovakia. This is the photo. Uh, so far I have cropped it, which is a 16 by 9, and I removed a couple of spots. But this is the Danube. Danube. I can never say that river correctly. Anyway, it's a major river thoroughfare in Europe. And uh, anyway, it runs through Bratislava. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they say that it's the Blue Danube. Danube, how do you pronounce that? I can never say it right. I feel like a, uh, a dingbat. Danube, 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 whatever. Big river. Um, here it is. And uh, anyway, it's not very blue. Uh, it's a cloudy uh, late afternoon. I was waiting on sunset. And, you know, it's a pretty scene. I love bridges. I love Europe. I love rivers. I love all that kind of stuff. There's a lot to work with here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to work with it. Uh, I've already cropped, as I said. I'm going to start with Accent AI, which is not what I always do with photos, but, you know, boom, it really wakes this thing up, which, you know, is a, is a good start, I would say. I do want to cool it. Whoa, not that much. I want to cool it off, something maybe about like that, and then I'm going to pull the tint a little bit to the right as well. Uh, this is something I do with many of my sunset time of day photos. Temperature kind of to the left, tint kind of to the right. Depends on the intensity of the sunset. If it's really warm, golden hour kind of stuff, I might not go as blue. But anyway, it's blue. I'm trying to bring that up a little bit. I am going to drop the exposure slightly, so maybe like a 0.4. Uh, and I'm also going to increase contrast, and I'm going to do that about you know mid 40s, something like that. So kind of contrasty. We're going to do a couple of things here in a minute, but. Um, that's my uh, my base photo. It's frankly, it's come a long way, and I like the scene, but I, I you know I want to do other stuff to it. So I'm going to start here with a negative uh, AI structure, and this, as you may guess, is going into the water. It was not a long exposure. It was part of a bracket set, and you know it's uh, it's flowing water. I tend to like to try to uh, I don't know make it look smoother. I guess is the best way of putting it. So. I've done that there with a little bit of negative structure, and I'm pretty happy with that look. And now I want to come in here and give it a little bit of vibrance, so like a 9, you know, 10 maybe, not too much. But in the saturation, I am going to pull the blue down. It's really blue. And even though I want it to be blue, I don't want it to be that blue, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to do a move in a minute that's going to bring some of that back. So this all kind of works because earlier I made the temperature cooler, and now I took the blue down. I know it's maybe a little bit confusing, but... I'm bouncing around having fun. That's kind of a thing not to be confused about. That's what I like to do here. So golden hour is going to go up. It is a sunset time of day. So I'm trying to bring that up. And there is a nice little warm line here uh, just below these clouds, above these buildings on the right-hand side, right over here in that building. It all kind of brings a, a little bit more warmth to it. So if I turn that off, there it is a little bit more dull, a little bit more gray. And I bring that on or turn that on, you know, it warms it up a little bit. Again, I've got a color move here in a minute that's going to hopefully put all this together, but um, that's where I am so far. I've got a couple of other things to do. It's really, I'm trying to make this kind of a quick edit. I know I talk fast in videos. You can always hit that little gear icon down there in that, uh, let's see, I think it would be your bottom left right corner, one of those corners, and slow me down. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm in highlights contrast now. I'm going to do about a 51 there. In midtones contrast, I'm going to go a little bit higher, like a 58. And then in shadows contrast, I'm actually going to go even higher. And that is going to be like a 70 or 71, 72, something like that. So contrast, super contrast is great, by the way. But massive difference in the photo. There it is before, and there it is now. But the other thing I want to do is adjust the balance. So I'm going to uh, increase the highlights balance. I'm going to actually decrease the midtones balance, something about like that. And then I am going to increase the shadows balance. So all this is doing is kind of adjusting that light, moving it around. But if you look at the before and the after, it's, uh, it's a little bit more punchy kind of contrast. I kind of like it. It's just something I played around with. Super contrast for sure is what I would call season to taste. Every image is different. Experiment, have fun, see what uh, works for you on any particular image. And now I'm into Color Harmony, one of my favorite tools. I use it all the time. It's part of, uh, well, Color Balance specifically I'm talking about within Color Harmony. But I love my colors if you've been here before, so you may know that. Uh, but here what I want to do is I'm going to bring up a little bit more of that blue that I was talking about, that blue Dan Danube Danube. <laughs> 
whatever it is, the Blue River, um, I'm going to go about negative 7 towards cyan. And this is in shadows. And I'm going to go to about a 10 here on the yellow-blue. So in both cases, I'm going more to the blue in the shadows. In midtones, I'm going to go do kind of a similar thing, but not as much. I'm going to do about a negative 8 here. In the midtones, I'm going to skip the magenta green. And for the yellow blue, I'm going to do about a 5. So again, quite a bit of blue. But in the highlights, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm actually going to go over here at about a 15 or 16 on the cyan and red, and about a negative 12 or so on the yellow blue. That's kind of pulling up that sunset kind of look in the highlight area. So let me show you the before and the after. There you go. Now that's actually affecting the entire photo. Whoops, and I don't want to do that. I want to get this mask and I want to get a gradient mask and I want to stick this just in the water because I'm quite happy with kind of how the photo looks elsewhere. And if you noticed in the sky, it was getting a little intense color wise, but I think it works great uh, in the water. So that's really what this color tool, uh, color balance component of Color Harmony was all about. There it is. Let me turn it off. There it is, a little bit less blue, and now when I turn that back on, a little bit more blue, a little bit richer color, but I popped the highlights a little bit with some of that uh, little uh, cyan red move and that yellow blue move as well. And I really just have one thing left to do, and that is to get a local mask, and this is going to be something for the water as well. So once again, gradient mask, and I could have just copied the gradient mask from the last uh, filter that I used and used it here, but I didn't think to do that. So. Um, now my mask, if I show you the mask, you'll see that it's covering the water like that. I'm going to go ahead and hide the mask. And what I want to do here is just bump the exposure just a tiny bit, like a 0.2. I just want to brighten it a little bit. And I'm also going to give it a little bit more of that negative structure just to soften it a tiny bit more. So if I turn this off, you can see the before in the bottom. There it is, a little bit darker, not quite as smooth. And then when I turn this back on, you can see it's gotten a little bit brighter and a little bit smoother. And that is my edit, my friends. I tried to make this one kind of quick. I was just playing around with the photo. I had a lot of fun with it. I actually see one other thing I might do. I might come into the saturation of the green. And those trees are really green over there. I might pull that down a little bit. So, you know, like a negative 60, something like that. Uh, negative 70, I don't know, just kind of bringing that down. I don't want too much color there distracting the viewer's eye. I really like the bridge, how it just leads across the river. You get some nice color. You got a little bit of sun uh, set popping over there. And you get the, uh, pro not Prague, gosh, Bratislava uh, Castle up there. I don't know if it has a better name than that. I'm going to call it Bratislava Castle. I don't recall. But the castle in Bratislava up there on the left, looking over the river. I like that. Uh, so kind of like leading the eye across the river and then kind of kind of going up that way. And those were my moves for this photo, and that's what they were designed to do. Let me show you the before and after. Quite a bit different. Uh, it's much more vibrant, and I'm able to make a few moves that really, I think, popped the photo and popped the color. If for some reason you were doing something like this and felt it was too colorful, you can always go in here to color, pull down vibrance or saturation, which would be global in nature, or you can make adjustments with a local masking tool if you need to. I kind of like vibrant colors, but you know what? I'm just for the sake of argument, pull down the saturation overall. Let's make it a negative 15 just to tone me down a little bit. There we go. Trying real hard not to be over the top with my colors, my friends. I just like them. But anyway, there you go. That's a full edit start to finish with a photo that was kind of blah. And honestly, I kind of skipped it quite a few times in my library. But pulling it into Luminar AI, I was really able to bring up some of those color tones, especially the blue that I really like in this photo. I just think skies and water, just blue works well for me. It's a personal preference in skies and water. Able to achieve that here with Luminar AI. That's my full edit, my friends. Hope it gives you some ideas for your own photos. Thank you for watching my little overhaul of an ugly photo kind of video. And uh, I'll be back soon with more. So have fun editing. Take care of yourselves out there, my friends. And adios.